has like literally his own troops who are oh what what did you do sir sir what did you do you just exploded all that fuel i didn't order him to do that there was no reason to do he just did that for funsies this guy's a psycho Welcome back to our final episode of our very special Let's Play series. I'm your host, Gaming J, and this is our full playthrough of Mech Commander, the classic tactical Battletech strategy game from 1999. Right before Y2K wiped us all out, we played us some Mech Commander back in the day. And uh, if you're just joining us, we are in the final operation of our invasion of Port Arthur. In the last video, we got to see a bunch of atlases just crush enemies. Uh, but in the last video, we also realized that we might have been overdoing it with the PPCs. We were kind of obliterating our enemies before we had a chance to really salvage anything from them. So today, we've actually toned things down a little bit. And if I bring you in, we will take a look at the mission operation briefing in a moment. As you can see, our first mission is going to be to escort an allied captain to an extraction point. And I've actually moved away from the assault class mechs and uh, I've decided to keep my scout lance, which we produced uh, last time, full of uh, sort of fast moving cougars that uh, actually are pretty heavily armed. I've uh, put together the sort of Thor, Loki, Vulture Lance that I promised you I would last time. And we have a couple of uh, hunchbacks that are left over from, uh, you know, our earlier builds in this game. Um, and actually, I might go in and alter the hunchbacks just a bit because as we saw last game, having too many PPCs seems to cut into our salvage just a bit. Um, or maybe I will. Maybe I'll leave the hunchbacks alone because they're pretty optimized as is. And I'm honestly also running out of clan ER lasers. Uh, but as you can see here, no clan mech has more than two PPCs. I've decided to put a lot more lasers on them uh, in order to mix up their fighting power. Actually, maybe I could put a pulse laser on, uh, on these guys. 12. Maybe a pulse laser would be better than a third PPC. Yeah, that actually seems like a fair trade. I'm going to do that to the other hunchback too down here. Uh, this one here. Large pulse laser. So large pulse lasers don't do nearly as much damage as a PPC, but they fire much more rapidly. So every two seconds you get two damage off, uh, which ends up being about the same as the PPC, but you're firing in smaller bursts, giving you a better chance at salvage, we think because last time I was obliterating mechs so, so much, there was nothing left to salvage. So uh, anyway, this is our last operation. There's going to be six missions in today's video, and then we're going to wrap up the campaign. So let's go ahead and one more time, check in with our commanding officer and see what she has to say. Incoming transmission. Operation Lynchpin was a success. Our main invasion force is now moving to forward staging position and the clanners are falling back to defend the starport. Your objective is to secure the starport for our main invasion. The starport has this key vulnerability. It's power generators. They power the turret and sensor systems. Their locations will be in your download. You will also need the clan air control towers priority targets. Take them out and we will deny the clan the skies. Zulu Company, based on your exemplary record, I have selected you to lead the starport assault. Now listen to me. The starport must fall. By the time you reach the perimeter, the main invasion force will be inbound with no turning back. If you do not achieve this objective, the entire invasion will fail. Zulu Company, we await your all clear. Okay, I have a lot of questions here. I thought the invasion was already taking place. Was I not part of the invasion? Is the invasion not even happened yet? Very confused. Also, what, she wants us to capture the starport slash destroy the starport. What difference does the starport make? Can't we just land our troops? We destroyed the orbital guns in the last mission, so I don't really understand what's going on. Anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. Pilot your mech, shoot stuff, kill stuff. I will do that. Uh, so the binary of max is not the immediate area. We'll worry about them once Naren's back with you. Okay, so we need to basically just escort Commencing a captain. I can do that. All right. 
so that looks to be the guy that we need to escort got a couple of catapults he's in an atlas which is pretty good for us there's the extraction point so we should just be able to sort of run up here now all my mechs are about the same speed and i did that intentionally i've i've come to learn the value of having a quickly nimble force in this game it is it is quite useful and we were definitely going overkill in the last uh you know the last couple of videos we've been fielding far more firepower than we need to in order to take out the enemies so i think sacrificing a bit of our armor a bit of our weaponry for speed is uh going to work out in our advantage case in point we need to get to this guy and save him before these enemy mechs actually they look completely impotent I was gonna say we have to go help this guy but he seems okay actually so we'll just take our time hey look a warehouse to capture enemy component why not all right new sensor traces over there we'll worry about that later though i wonder if he could salvage guys for me oh he did he did awesome we're getting <laughs> vultures and stuff and we didn't even have to do anything for it that's awesome. Why are these guys not moving? Look at this. What's happening here? Is this a mutiny? Is this what mutiny is like? Everybody, can we go? You guys, what is happening here? Okay, everybody get going over here. How about that? Why are you guys not doing anything? Get going over here. Why are you guys not doing anything? What is happening? I'm so confused. They're just straight up disobeying my orders. Um, okay, well, how about you guys destroy the gate? Then will you go places? Okay. Maybe these guys just didn't understand. They're like, there's a gate in the way. It's very confusing. Okay, hurry up and capture these turrets. Flip them to our side. And let's obliterate these guys. So even though we've, we've toned down our armor capacity a little bit and our weaponry, I feel like we're still definitely a force to re be reckoned with. Yeah. Oh, but we got to salvage. Okay, instantly, I toned the weapons down. Instantly, we're salvaging three mechs here. That is a huge improvement. Okay, hold on, dude. I'm going to capture these turrets. They're not going to bother you. Sir, don't worry. I've got this. Okay. Let's just bring everyone together over here. Okay, I feel like the turrets can kind of do their thing now. And let's actually come over here and capture the sensor control. I like that the, uh, the admiral or whatever, the captain, has like literally his own troops who are- Oh, what- what did you do, sir? Sir, what did you do? You just exploded all that fuel. I didn't order him to do that. There was no reason to do it. He just did that for funsies. He just did that for funsies. Maybe it was to create this tiny hole in the wall. Sir, I had the gate. The gate was also destroyed. There's many reasons you didn't have to do that. This guy's a psycho. <laughs> I kind of like it. I'm I'm scared to be under his command, but I, I also am a little excited to have some... To be under the command of someone this crazy. Um... Could work out well. These guys are like totally lost. These guys are like on the far end of the map. So I'm playing the game like three mechs light, basically. Three mechs short. Because a bunch of guys are just not engaging. But yeah, I'm really liking this loadout of the cougars mixed with the other clan mechs. I feel like it is definitely a good mix. So these guys, by the time they get over to the battle, the battle's gonna be over. Look, there's like a little office building here. I've yet to figure out what the main industry of Port Arthur is. It seems to be oil refineries and fuel and also crappy houses. Like, look how crappy these houses are. And random office parks and strip malls. It's a very confusing planet. No idea. No idea what the strategic value of this planet is either. Also, imagine that like... Mech Commander was a huge success and they decided to make sequel after sequel after sequel and they did a, a separate planet for every part of the inner sphere attack on the clans. Like we've been playing this for days. We've been playing this for days and we are not even done invading one planet. Think of how much work it would take to invade like, you know, the whole inner sphere or something like that. It would, it would take forever. 
Yes, sir. Um. So, because when the Inner Sphere attacked the clans to sort of push the Smoke Jaguar back, they had to take a number of worlds. It wasn't just taking one. There was like a number of worlds they had to basically take back. They fought them all the way out of the Inner Sphere and then all the way back to the clan homeworlds. Um, Alright, those three mechs on the far end of the map just never showed up for the party. But I feel like I'm liking this new build. So, when we started, my mechs were definitely a mix of, like, PPCs, ER lasers, LRMs, and then at some point, as I was playing, I just went hard into the PPCs. Like, hard. And I think it was holding me back from salvage a little bit, or I was just getting unlucky or something. But having a mix of ER lasers is actually, I think, good. So the PPCs, like, hammer them down, take out, like, wipe out their armor, and then you come in with the ER lasers, and you pepper them until they die. And you just want to kill them by just a little bit, just enough to kill them, but not so much that there's absolutely nothing left to salvage. So I am liking having these, uh, these cougars. In fact, I'm, like, literally tempted to, like, start replacing some of the PPCs. Not all, but some with, uh, pulse lasers that we can even get a little bit more salvage out of these guys. Anyway, let's go ahead and repair our dudes up. And I also like having more nimble, fast clan mechs. It definitely is the way to go. Once you go clan, you can't go back. Um, now, in terms of mechs, we actually salvaged like a bunch of vultures here. Like a vulture W is just objectively better than a vulture jump because I don't need the jump capabilities. So yeah, it's fine. So hold on here. Uh, we're gonna take off these ER lasers. Man, look at all the LRMs this thing has. This is like too many LRMs for one mech. No mech should have this much power. Um, I'm actually going to strip out my jump capable vulture. So it had two PPCs and some ER large lasers. Go ahead and rip this stuff out. Boom, Mantis and Mantis reporting. was piloting. Okay. Now, let's bring Mantis back Mantis into the folds reporting. here. And go ahead and throw those PPCs back on. And we had, like, a bunch of ER lasers. Like, four of them is pretty good. We had some clan missile launchers. Uh, actually, maybe do we want to do that? No, we're still, like, underweighted. How about we do this? I like to sort of maximize the payload so that there's like no empty space. It means putting on slightly less efficient inner sphere long range missile launchers and so be it. I'm not liking any of these loadouts though. Um, oh, I even could put on another PPC. What about a large pulse laser? Oh, that's interesting. And then just a couple of missile launchers on top of that. Two. Okay. Okay, that's kind of interesting. All right, you know, we'll do it. That's that's our vulture. Heavy into the medium range lasers. Uh, the fact that you don't have to worry about heat in this game seems broken. <laughs> like, it is such a Battletech staple to always be concerned about heat. But uh, not in this game, apparently. Uh, we could throw two more vultures into the mix. Two more armored vultures. I kind of think that might be the way to go, actually. And they have so many LRM packs, it is insane. They don't need that many. Uh, two large clan pulse lasers. I don't know if he needs two. Having one is certainly not a bad thing. Sees. Some ER lasers. And does this guy care anything else? Wow, these things are actually beasts. I'm actually a little scared for the enemy, to be totally honest. These guys do not mess around. Okay. Wow. Um I am I'm very excited to field these vultures. I oh, feel like here. they're gonna they're gonna bring it. Um, so I'm gonna pull somebody out of a hunchback. This is Hunter. In fact, I'm gonna pull this all my guys beast. out of hunchback so this I have all man. my pilots here. here. 
And... Vixen here. Vixen. Boom. Okay, so it doesn't really matter who goes where, I guess. You go here. Oh, wait, I pulled guys out of the Thors and stuff that I was using. Bay. I want... Yeah, I, I pulled these guys out. Oops. This is Hunter. Sorry. This is Hitman. Hunter and Hitman, you stay in your mechs, please. All right, there we go. We're, we're moving, we're becoming a clan uh, sort of unit. We're just fielding clan uh, dudes now. So seek and destroy all clan mechs. We only have 18 or 15 minutes. All clan pilots are highly skilled elites. Commencing deployment. Now when I'm through with them, they won't be. Okay. There's no way through here. So, wait, what do you mean there's no way through? Go forward. We only have 15 minutes to find these dudes. So let's not waste any time. You got it, sir. So let's just run through the forest here. And let's see. So I wish we had sort of like a sensor. This would be a good mission to have some sort of like sensor sweep or something like that. But it's fine that we don't. We have to kill eight enemies. I feel like that's not, that's not going to be a problem. Oh my god, it's a mad cat! We need to salvage that thing. Where is it going? You do not get to flee from me? Oh my god, where is he running? Where did he go? He's a, a jump capable mad cat, not the, the one that I want. But oh, he's like luring me into a trap. No problem, sir. Like, uh, fire. he's being very clever. All right, we killed him. Oh, we didn't salvage him though. That's okay, all right, that guy's down. Man, those guys are elites? Those are elite pilots? No problem, sir. They don't feel elites. All right, well, those guys are trying to figure their way out. Where am I? I'm stuck on an island or something. How do I, how do I leave? This is a very interesting map because it's all like forested and like locked off like a maze. My sensors have a new contact. Um, do they? I wish I was jump capable. I wasn't smart enough to bring jump cap. Are, are these mechs just totally trapped? I oh, know there's a land bridge over here or something. Okay. I was like, I wish I was smart enough to bring some uh, jump capable mechs, but I clearly am not. Oh, a couple of PPCs. Ah, oh, the enemy actually is smart enough to yield, or to wield some PPCs. Look at this guy. He's luring me into another trap, I know it. He's just bolting. Can these guys help, I wonder? Oh yeah, there totally is a trap. I'm like totally fine with it though, because I'm like, yeah, yeah, trap me if you want. Just, just engage me. <gasps> we got a mad cat! Yeah! A mad cat W too, which is the weapon variant, which is even better than the jump variant. And we even got a clan ERPPC out of that. That was awesome. All right, these these elite mech warriors. They uh, they're not so elite. Turns out, or they're just not piloting their their mechs very well. I don't know. Okay, those guys are just dead. Enemy All right, um, these guys are literally trapped. No problem, Can we sir. just run through the fire? <laughs> Can we get out? Hello? All right, I guess this is the land bridge up. All right, can these guys rendezvous finally? I think so, almost. Yes, no, maybe. We all kind of go over this way. All right, so how many have we killed? I don't even know. I'm in a minefield. Oh, shoot. I am under attack. Who's in a minefield? I'm in a minefield. Ah, crap. Stop, 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 stop. Mines are like one of the few things that can actually destroy us. Oh my god. Okay, you just, you know what? You stand still. We we may not need you for the rest of, uh, for the rest of today. New leader selected. Everyone else kind of come into this, like, shattered shell of a base. Let's see what we got here. Got some 
equipment that they just decided to leave. Sensor tower. Actually, that'll be very useful. See where the enemy is. Ooh, we even have a repair bay. All right, Vixen. You think you can get up here without getting killed. Just follow the footprints of your ally who did not walk through mines. And we go over here. Uh, there we go. Oh, that was pretty. That guy looked at a spin. Didn't salvage those guys though. That's okay. All right, get over here and repair your legs, man. You're looking worse for wear. So I'm trying to like count the number of people we've killed. That was two guys we just killed. We killed three when we salvaged the Mad Cat. Five when we killed a Mad Cat jump. Six and we killed another guy. So we, we've killed like seven dudes. There can only be one more. Oh, and he's way up there. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh, look, and there's stuff to capture too. They're just they're just giving us freebies today. Enemy components no problem, capture. Sir. Enemy components Bunch of freebies. capture. Consider it done. All right. Hopefully, there's no more mines. I feel like mines are a thing they introduce in this game, and you see it in like one early level, and then like once in a while they'll try to mine you. But for the most part, it's just sort of like a forgotten mechanic of this game. I wonder if they wanted it to be a much bigger part of the game and then it's like it just, you know, they were just like, ah, forget it. Like they tried and people like game testers like really didn't enjoy it and they were like, oh, well, whatever. It's in the game. We're not taking it out, but we won't make people do it. People don't want to lay mines or don't want to lay mines. It's definitely an interesting mechanic, but I just don't feel like the mine laying really matters enough in this game. Uh, like, it's just more fun to kill guys with mechs, honestly. Where are these guys going? They're finding their own way. And I can't believe we got a mad cat. You better believe I'm fielding that in the next mission. Comes with an ER PPC. Yes, please. All right, everybody, come over here. Let's... Finish this last guy off. These three guys can probably handle it all by themselves, in fact. Natural gas towers. I don't like that. I, I'm very afraid that eventually the computer's gonna realize it can destroy these gas things. Like that! And just kill me as a result. No problem, sir. Look, look, he's trying to destroy the gas. That's a natural gas tower that I'm standing beside. Look, he keeps trying to destroy the pressure tanks and stuff. Get out of here, you Mission rascal. We salvage him? We might have actually. Let's take a look at our uh, our post-battle report. That was a fairly easy mission. I like the point. fact that they were trying to lure us into uh, traps and it totally didn't work. Like, pro tip, if you want to lure an enemy into a trap, make sure you can kill them. I uh, know. We only salvaged one unit and it was the Mad Cat. But I will take it. Oh, here we go. We've been we've been dreaming of this since the first video. We even saw Mad Cat in the first video. Didn't salvage it though. Boom! This is the fourth Mad Cat we've seen in the entire game. Um. Okay. So first of all, let's go ahead and play around with the loadout we got going on here. So excited for this thing. Hey, we can even put advanced sensors on it if we want. Do we not have basic sensors? Oh, here we go. Uh, I mean, I guess maybe we want advanced sensors. Green. Um. Yeah, whatever. We'll just do basic. I I feel like I don't play around very much with the electronic suites in this game. But an ER large laser is actually not bad. Uh, we're gonna go for. So we have a large pulse laser. We have an ER PPC, one more PPC, and then I would like to throw some ER lasers on this thing. So there must be some mechs that aren't being used. Oh, we've kind of stripped them all. Hmm. I guess I'm using too many clan ER lasers all over the place. Um, I guess we'll just take this one. Hey, come over here. You have a date with a uh, mad cat. And do another one of these. 
I'm like really starting to shy away from the PPC. It's not that it's not good. It just might be too good. There we go. All right. And this I feel the like beast. the beast has earned this. He's been with us since the beginning. Beast. Okay, sir. You're you welcome. Earn this. All right. 350 tons. Destroy all enemy forces. Capture and defend four oil uh, der derricks. And capture the clan headquarters to gain valuable tactical data. Oh, this is a defense mission. So having a maneuverable crew will be to our advantage. Um, okay. So let's just sort of see how much tonnages we have to play with here. Mission drop weight exceeded. Oh, that exceeds the drop weight. Mission drop weight exceeded. Uh, maybe. Maybe we want to bring in our light mechs again. So I've left these guys fully equipped. I'm pretty sure I didn't strip any parts off of them. Yeah, maybe we want to bring them in. Okay, we're going to bring in the uh, the recon crew. Three, four, and we have 70 tons left. That is enough to bring in links. All right, there we go. Not bringing in any vultures. Man, we are all clan. We don't even we don't even field inner sphere mechs anymore. We're just like, ah, forget it. You know what's better than inner sphere mechs? Clan mechs. We're we're a traitor to the inner sphere, man. But these these mechs are just so damn good. So damn effective. All right, stay. Oh my god, look at that. Though that seems like a trap to me. Oh my god, look at it all. Look at it all. One missile. If the enemy shot one missile right now. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Stay away. Oh my god. They're, they're getting smarter, guys. They're trying to blow up the oil fields while we are uh, walking through them. All right, there we go. We successfully turned the turrets. I like it when you capture that building, the turret pilots are all like, all right, show's over. I guess we belong to the inner sphere. Free birth scum now. Or maybe the turrets are all just automated and we just took over the computer. That would make a lot more sense. That would make a lot more sense. All right. Jeez, look at all these. Uh, I don't like fighting amongst all these uh, pressure tanks and stuff. God, everybody get out of there. Don't hang out in a field of explosive barrels. Okay, what are they doing? Okay, let's run over here. I wish I had a jump capable mech. It was actually kind of stupid of me not to bring one. Because that gate could have been very useful to me. Alright. Turrets are on our side. Boom. Are there other turret controls, or are all these turrets fighting for us now? I think they're all fighting for us. Kaboom. And, like, we can even repair our mechs now if we want. Capture some, uh... Extra supplies. Alright. Send these guys in one at a time, I guess. I'm on it, sir. Can't do it. The um, enemy's too close. Another shot is all you'll take. Oh, hold on. Yes, sir. Can all right, you guys sir. come over here. You capture Got these supplies. My done. Enemy components captured. Meanwhile, captured. over here. I'll do what I can. All right. As soon as we are all ammoed up again, we will go ahead and capture this uh, command headquarters, and I'm sure. Craziness will ensue. Sir, We're sp what are we supposed yes, to defend? Capture and defend all oil derricks. My centers have a new contact. What are those? Is blocked, sir. What is an oil derrick? And how does one how does one capture it? I don't think I've seen that in the game the entire time we've been playing. Reporting building capture. Okay, we have sensors though. Maybe the enemy is sort of scattered around the map. You know another feature that's kind of interesting about this game that I feel like is very underplayed is the ability to call down strikes. I feel like I very rarely use that in missions. I mean, I guess you can, but it's just like, it seems unnecessary. Like, very rarely am I like, oh man, if only I could call down a strike and stop the, uh, the enemy from attacking me. But it's like, just typically, again, unnecessary. Okay, so these are the oil derricks. 
There's just a Rommel tank just hanging out there. I don't know if the computer's smart enough to actually try and destroy these uh, explosive barrels while I'm standing next to them, but I kind of don't want to chance it, so I'm going to play very cagey on this level here. We're playing in a very dangerous battlefield. Um, in fact... Like, I'm also afraid if I destroy these... If it's going to destroy the oil derrick. And I once accidentally destroyed a bar and I was supposed to protect. So I'm very hesitant to repeat that mistake. Where am I getting shot at from? Oh, this guy. There he is. I was like, wasn't there a mech protecting this? Where did he go? He was just partying over near my base. There, killed him. No salvage. That's okay. Now that we have a Mad Cat, even if we didn't get a second Mad Cat for the entire game, I would feel okay about it. Obviously, I want a few more, but I have, like, Thors and Loki, so, like, I'm feeling okay so far about our salvage. I feel like we're doing... we're doing okay. Man, look at that. It's like the oil is protected by a bunch of explosive barrels. Maybe I should, maybe these cougars should be the jump variant kinds. Maybe I should like reevaluate the light mechs I'm bringing into combat. I'll do what I can. Boom. Here, I'm taking, hit. here, I'm taking here, hits from who? One of my guys is like, I'm taking hits. Sir, I'm like, you down. are? Who's hitting you? Oh, shoot. Okay, everybody be very careful. No stray shots here. Aim. Very carefully. Eat this. Eat this. Kaboom! Oh my god! Hey, wait, what's happening here? Oh, I was like... Oh, they're trying to destroy the thingy! You dicks! Look, they're trying to destroy the oil, Derek. Okay, well... This is why we have fast-moving units. Alright. Well, group number one is going to now be on permanent guard duty. After I saw that they would do that, never occurred to me that they would come and intentionally blow up the fuel canisters. Got it, sir. Okay, what's going on? I told you guys to come down over here and try and capture this. One less enemy crawler. I'll do what I can. Boom, get out of One here. Enemy crawler. Got it, sir. Boom. This shuttle piss them off. Enemy vehicle destroyed. And kaboom. So as long as you sort of keep the enemy busy, I guess they are not really that interested in actually attacking the uh, oil drums. Reporting building captured. You know what you probably could do? Oh, no, you have to defend. I was like, you could probably just Blitzkrieg and capture all the, these things, all three at once, but Can I don't think it would her. actually let you do that. Because it does say you have to defend, so it, presumably it's going to send enemies to try and uh, attack the, uh, the oil rigs or whatever. Yes, sir. Count on me, sir. Another Count mission on where I am sir. glad to have light, me, fast sir. mechs. Yes, sir. This is Scarab reporting vehicle destroyed. Kaboom. Yes, sir. Another one for the kill board. Boom. Reporting vehicle okay. destroyed. I'm gonna move these guys over here and tell them to guard. Got it, sir. It's funny how like the uh these guys are like my slow mechs now, but they're faster than I think my hunchbacks were back in the day. Like if you go back and watch some of the earlier videos when we were on earlier missions, we dealt with much slower mechs great. as like our primary forces. Up. Um, alright, we got that. some guys coming in. On me, sir. See who these punks are. Yes, Kaboom! Oh, a couple of hunchbacks, eh? Oh, that guy just straight up got taken down. Alright. You guys got nothing. I wonder if we salvaged anyone yet. We still haven't salvaged anything. Maybe salvage is just less common than I think. Maybe, like, I was making a big deal out of, like, not salvaging very much, but maybe it's just less common than I think. <laughs> that guy, oh my god, that guy just got annihilated. Annihilated. Alright, more guys are coming. Let's see who these guys are. 
This is outlaw. Oh, they're just tanks. There's a new sensor contact. Go, 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 go. Yes, sir. This is outlaw. Back another one. Go, go, go. I wonder if they have trouble hitting us because we're light mechs or something like that. Man, these guys are like just unloading on us. Okay, whatever. Boom, just kill them. Oh man, that like obliterated half the map right there. <laughs> wow, that uh, that obliterated half the map. Holy jeez, that was a huge explosion. All right, but I just honestly I didn't have the patience to uh, defend against all those dudes. Okay, we got one more base to raid over here. We're just gonna run our way in and try and kill these two tanks. Here. Enemy yes, and once we have them, the turrets will be under our control. Yes, sir. Yes. This is firestorm. The enemy is engaging. And is go ahead, go here. ahead. Outlaw here. Reporting. All right, we control here. this base. Begged another one. Another shot is all yours. All right, and we have here. all four derricks. Capture and defend. Destroy all enemy forces. Uh, where would those guys be? Wait, we do have all four, right? We have that one. Did we capture this one? That one, yeah. That one. And that one. Okay, we have them all. Some, something big is coming our way. Let's, uh, let's engage and see what we got going on. Oh, it's, uh, Loki. Oh, it actually, he actually damaged me. We finally got hit by a PPC from the enemy, and it hurts! Gosh, that stings. Okay, I could take the easy way out and destroy the barrels, but uh, I really don't want to do that. I want to engage this guy fair and square. Meanwhile, this guy's clearly trying to flank me. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, it's a Masakari. I have a new center trait. Um, okay. We'll- we'll take this one. <laughs> we'll obliterate him the, uh, the fun way. Meanwhile... Uh, okay, that was like too easy. Oh, there's a commando. A couple of rogue commandos coming in here. Well, they're about to get a face full of, uh, Mad Cat, Thor, and Loki. That guy just fell straight down. Didn't even- he didn't even get to run up to his enemies. Take, we're, we're taking all the fun out of it for the clans. They can't even come and, like, roughhouse with us. We're just demolishing them. Alright, what did we salvage? I kind of wish there was a fast way to get to the salvage. Like, just show me what I got. We got... A Loki. Whoa, and a clan ER PPC. And we got a cougar, but I don't care about those anymore because I have tons of them. Alright, so we are in mission four of our final operation. There's only six missions per operation, so we're getting down to the wire here. Um, do I even have jump-capable cougars? I only have one. That's a shame. It'd be so awesome to have this, like, uh, a whole bunch of them. Uh, I guess we'll take the clan missile launchers off this thing before we sell it. I guess we'll take that, because we're starting to use those. Boom, you get out of here. We have so much money, too. There's nothing left to buy. It'd be kind of cool if in this game you could buy clan salvage from other mercenary or not. You're not even a mercenary unit. You're just in the army. I don't know. I guess it'd be cool if you could buy from like other units. Um, but uh, really, I mean, you can't. So, you know, it's, it, basically money is only temporarily important in this game. Eventually, what's really important is clan salvage. That is the real bread and butter of this game. And these Centurions have nothing on them. Oh. I hate how you can only put 15 mechs in the ready area. It's sort of like an arbitrary limit. It's like, why? Why 15? Why does it matter? If I want 20 mechs in the ready area, why can't I do that? It's, uh, a little, uh, a little odd and annoying. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, strip this bad boy down. And we'll repair, and we'll refit. Boom. Wait, was there a clan ER laser? I thought there was. 
or clan ER PPC. I guess not, eh? Kind of a shame. Uh, we can definitely build this guy up, though. With a bunch of clan missiles. And... There you go. That guy's actually just ready and waiting for action. We'll just throw a pilot in. Goblin, Goblin, it's your lucky day, can, man. Sir. He does not have the skills for that kind of mech, but we're just giving it to him anyway because we're so nice. Um, all right, 380 tons. I feel like I want to leave all of these guys ready now, and I don't want to have to keep going into the mech bay and pulling weapons off one mech and putting them on another. I just want to like have all my mechs ready and then play with who's going into combat this round. Anyway, we only have... This is a time limit mission. We have 20 minutes. Destroy enemy air control towers at number one. Uh, move all forces, including artillery pieces, to the top of the ridge, number two. Okay, wait, we have artillery pieces in this? The attack on the starbase has entered the initial stages. Jaguars have positioned three air control towers. We will need those artillery pieces in place. Um, okay, so... Good. Basically, yet another mission where we just fight guys. Fight guys and win. That's that's the name of the game. Bring in our sweet, sweet Mad Cat. And where's our Thor? Mad Cat and Thor are like a, just a match made in heaven. And we have these two guys. So we are at 275. I think we just bring the light guys in after this. This has really become like the go-to crew. These guys exceeded. have almost been in as many missions as the heavier dudes. Uh, I'm just kind of thinking, I guess that's fine. I guess we'll do it like that. Commencing All right. Deployment. So we have like a nice nimble force yet again. And we even have some mobile artillery pieces. These things over here. Okay, so you guys scout... You guys Got it, sir. sort of head over this way, and you kind of go over here. So I'm going to keep the I'll heavier right mechs there. back to protect the artillery pieces, and we'll move forward with the lighter mechs to kind of clear stuff out. Um, you know, just sort of see what's coming up, get that sweet, sweet scouting information that we need so much. Over here. Got it, sir over here just a couple of vehicles a couple of vehicles wait can the artillery pieces attack oh what they can't oh what oh these things are just total dead weight that sucks they uh I'll do what I can. can't even attack okay it's funny that for my scout lance if they encounter enemy mechs i don't even need to necessarily bring them back to uh, get reinforced. They can just kind of handle themselves. I am under attack. Uh, like they just took out a Centurion. Like maybe I'll bring them back because the fight is getting a little hectic, but they could. I'm not afraid for them. They could easily handle themselves. Alright, guard. Guard. Alright, everyone just shoot whoever you want. How about that? Have fun with it. It's like jazz. Combat in the Battletech universe is like jazz. You just sort of riff and, and improvise. A lot of improvisation in these battles. We got a catapult, though. That's pretty sweet. Actually, no, it's not. I don't care. <laughs> it's like, oh, sweet, a catapult. Uh, I don't care. If it, Maybe if it was a mad cat, I'd care a lot more. Fun fact about the Mad Cat, it was actually named the Mad Cat because when the Inner Sphere first encountered it, one. in fact, the Mad Cat isn't even the clan name for the mech. The clan name's the Timberwolf. But uh, fun fact for the Mad Cat, when the Inner Sphere first encountered it, their combat computers couldn't tell if it was a Marauder or a Catapult. So it kept switching, the computer kept designating it as Marauder and Catapult. And the designation for the Marauder is Mad and the Catapult is Cat. So it was flipping back and forth between Mad and Cat. Hence the name, the Mad Cat. Um, I always thought that was like a very awesome little uh, detail, an in-world explanation of why it was called what it was called. I don't know what that guy's doing. He's trying to be sneaky and get behind me, but it is not working. 
I can't tell if I would want this game to have Fog of War or not want this game to have Fog of War. Because, like, it is a little cheap to be able to, like, scout out the map and then permanently see what's coming at you. But I won't lie, it's also very convenient and nice. So it's like, it feels like you're cheating, but I'm not that mad about it. I'm not that broken up about it. You know, like, I'm not going to, uh, lose any sleep over it. another one. Link here. Um, guard. Hmm. Another one. You guys there. One I'm gonna send door. my, uh, do what I can. my cougars over here to go take out these guys. I guess we'll focus on the catapults first. Might as well. Uh, I don't think they're necessarily needed for defense. So I might as well clear out some enemies. There's another catapult. That raven is just moving around the map. We got some hunchbacks sort of coming over here, Executing your trying to kill us. Why is everyone always trying to kill us? What if we're here to make peace? They wouldn't even know. Oh, we just straight up took that guy out. I don't know why I'm surprised at this point. All right, that guy's basically done. All right, see ya. <laughs> I do like the the fact that the enemies just eject like that. Oh, what the hell? They're airstriking me. That's actually really annoying. Can we kill this guy here? Hey, that guy survived. Or something. I don't know. He's just like casually walking away. He's like, walk casual. Maybe they won't attack you. Okay, that's actually really annoying that they keep airstriking around there. Hmm. Maybe I need to, like, destroy the airstrike guns or something like that. Okay. I'm bringing my recon lance back while my command lance goes running through and figures out what the heck is going on. I think if we destroy the uh, aerospace control towers or whatever, then all these silly explosions will stop. This is kind of an interesting part. You have to sort of like bob and weave your way through this like, it's like a dynamic minefield. But it's not too hard to get through. The units though do respond. There's a bit of a lag for when you like order them to do something and when they respond so I like it's like slightly tricky to get them through that without taking any damage you have to be extra cautious I guess I can't tell if they're aiming at me or they're just like aiming randomly at the hills but uh just go ahead and start doing our mission kaboom how dare you fire missiles at me Pop up turrets. You're scaring nobody. Um, hunchback. Okay, so you guys. This is Hunter. Enemy mech. Come over here, and guard. All right. Oh, they're sending cougars. Oh no! A gang of light mechs have come to attack my heavy hitters. All right, let's destroy this air tower already. Um, let's head over here. I feel like I'm just gonna quickly hammer out these towers, because, like, the amount of time it takes to... Oh, God. Did they just airstrike their own base? Jeez. Oh, look, they, like, airstrike their own base after you take it out. My God. Okay, we're gonna very quickly destroy these things. Happening over here. These guys are quickly... Oh man, they're just totally dispatching those uh, enemy mechs. They tried to sneak up on us. Alright. Wow, these guys are actually getting beat up a little bit. That's interesting. I'm just gonna like pop in and destroy these... Uh, these towers and then like just get out of there. There's no point in like... prolongingly fighting out, out this base because like they have pop-up turrets and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, there we go. Now, we just need to get everyone over here. And guard your way over there. I like how this, this level has like just random 
sort of squads of mechs marauding around. I would love a mission where you're just on a battlefield and you just kind of have to hold out and help hold the line or something like that. And there's just like a bunch of mechs. Uh, I feel like that's the one thing that we have not seen so far. The biggest fight we saw in the last video, we had that really cool mission that I actually failed at twice where I needed to employ lighter mechs uh, because there were enemy mechs trying to flank past us and escape the battlefield. That was actually a really cool and dynamic battle. And I feel like there's not as many of those missions as I would like in this game. A lot of missions are basically just go capture this base, kill any mechs you encounter. Um, but I would really enjoy a mission where it was like, it was, it was like this, but with no time limit and where you didn't have to protect these guys. You just had to destroy waves of mechs that were coming for you. I don't know. It'd be really interesting. I think to have much bigger battles in this game because certainly my guys can handle. It. I mean, they're a little beat up, but they're not nearly, uh, as damaged as, you know, one might imagine they would be after like killing a whole bunch of enemy max I don't know I don't know what I'm saying basically my guys could handle a lot more battle than what they're being given we need some we, we need to put the battle in battle tech my guys are just look they're so desperate for a fight they're shooting uh, turrets on the ground that haven't even revealed themselves they're like I'll just shoot anything at this point they have uh, they have just combat angst they just want to kill everything all right, everyone's come into the best position, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what, I guess this is setting up artillery for the next level. So in the next mission, we'll have artillery because these guys mission are in the right place. Kaboom. All right, 50,000 RPs. The money is so irrelevant at this point. We even killed an enemy pilot. Good for us. I'm giving, I'm giving myself a pat on the back for that one. All right. Some of these guys have been with us since the start. Like, I remember when Countess was terrible. <laughs> she had really bad stats. She's really good at shooting and killing people now, though. She's come a long way under my tutelage. Hunchbacks, Centurions, all those mechs are getting sold. Every single one of them. Um, although... Oh, wait. Jump-capable Cougars! I'm not selling those. Oh, my God. I can only have five mechs in the ready area. Are you kidding me? Um, okay, I'm gonna put these guys away into storage. I'm probably not gonna use these guys again. Oh, look, there's a clan ERP PC just sitting there. Nobody's using it. That's annoying. There's another one! Oh my god! Okay, we need to uh, re equip some of our dudes because apparently we had really awesome weapons that nobody was using. Um, jump capable cougars. I like that. We're totally repairing these guys up. Um, we can go here. Maybe we'll all think we need to find the right mission to use them because it's not generally right to just throw them in. Uh, we definitely don't want a raven. The rest. Uh, I'm just looking to see if any of these guys have equipment we want to rip off of them, like an ER laser. We'll take that. And anything else? Nope. Okay, let's sell all the busted up mechs. Sell you. Sell you. Sell you. Sell you. We're really just selling them to get them out of our inventory so they don't clog things up for us. Um, okay. So, in fact, you know what? We could even sell these Uller Jays. Uh, oh, like I had like a beagle probe and stuff. I guess we were using him at one point. Oh my god, the stupid mech limit. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Like, look, we have one, two, three. We have four jump capable cougars. Time to dump the oolers. It's only a five ton difference, but I feel like the cougars are a far superior mech. That's probably all in my mind, but I just like the cougars way more. Um. Yeah, these are all armored variant cougars, too. So they're nice and tough. Okay, 415 tons. Destroy the power complex alpha, the power complex beta, and the power complex gamma. So the fact that we have to actually go into bases means that I actually do want to bring in some jump-capable cougars. 
You know what's also really annoying, by the way, about this 15 unit limit is that you can equip, you can assign people in squads of four, which means multiples of four would have been a much better limit because if you could have 16 units in the bay, then you could have four squads ready. With 15 units, you can only have 3.75 squads ready. It doesn't make any sense. The 15 unit limit is kind of stupid. Anyway, let me go ahead and equip these uh, cougars for action. All right, I have equipped the Cougar Jays. So the regular Cougars are now out of the mix. All my Cougars are now jump capable and they're got their typical loadout of PPCs, ER lasers, LRMs. This one, however, has an ECM suite and advanced sensors. I don't know. Maybe that stuff will come in handy. Uh, but honestly, I found I, I ran out of ER lasers, so I couldn't do the dual ER laser. I decided to throw on a pulse laser because, you know, they, they're not too bad. And so he has a PPC. He, this guy does not have LRMs though. So slightly different cougar in the mix. Other than that, we have our Mad Cat. Uh, we've equipped the clan ER PPCs that we got in the last mission. So I upgraded uh, these two Thors, I think. So we have Thor, Loki, Mad Cat, and we have one more. This guy's not coming into battle. This guy is, and he's a clan ER PPC. This guy is sort of the B team Loki. We actually, we are now at a point where we have a bunch of spare clan mechs that we just have no room for. So anyway, um, destroy the power complex alpha, uh, beta and gamma. These are bases. We're going to hopefully be able to use our new jump capable mechs to just jump right into the bases and steal them right out from underneath uh, the, uh, the enemy's nose. So. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, I love the look of our squad. You know, we never zoomed in. Oh, look at that. Clan mech glory right there. Um, oh, who's firing at us? Oh, what the heck? A Shrek. Uh, well, <laughs> well, we killed those. I think Shreks are PPC carriers. I think that's why we got uh, hit with the PPC. Oh, hello. Who's this? Bunch of vehicles are trying to attack us. That doesn't seem fair or to make any sense if you were a vehicle and you saw us coming you should run definitely shouldn't try to engage us we just took a thor down right in front of you you should be <laughs> I, I like how uh the mechs have ejection seats but the vehicles totally don't it's like when vehicles are in trouble it's just like whatever you just die in there um all right firestorm since you have no uh let's see how they like this no ammo. Yeah, whatever. I was gonna say, since you have no ammo, why don't you destroy the generators? But it's taking too long. So I'm gonna let... Oh god, stay away from the generator before it explodes! Okay, the generators do not explode and kill you. Good to know. Uh, I think it's only the explosive barrels. Let's do that. Alright. Mission objective complete. Oh, they're sending guys in to try and defend the base that we've just obliterated. I like a good fight. What do you got? Send us your most capable warriors. Massacaris. Man, Mad Cats are so rare. I didn't realize how rare they were in this game. When I sat down to play this, uh, you know, back when I started this Let's Play, in my mind I was like, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna like salvage some Mad Cats. It'll be great. But like, honestly, we have barely seen any Mad Cats. Um. Okay, did we salvage anyone? Ooh, oh! Oh, a Masakari with two ER PPCs! God damn, we are destroying it. What's, what are in all these component boxes? Anything cool? Absolutely nothing. Why are we still getting, like, who's still, who, who's playing this game is still mounting, like, regular autocannons at this point. Those supplies are not even worth my time. If it's not a clan-based energy weapon or missile launcher, I just honestly don't care about it. Um, these guys aren't even worth my time either. I'm just going to let the artillery destroy them. As long as we keep them in range. Kaboom! Kind of wasted some ammo on them. Uh, let's just do another strike here. Oh, Masakaris are coming, eh? You guys want to play, do ya? That guy just straight up ejected! Did you see that? Did we salvage that guy? Oh my god, we got another massacre! We've got two massacaris! 
I think we did a headshot on that guy. We've gotten four e clan ER PPCs. God damn. This is insane. All right, that guy's gone too. Uh, you know what? We're here. We might as well attack this base here. So we're going to, even though we don't need to, uh, I was going to have our guys jump in, but... Yeah! We jumped in. Oh, two of my mechs fell down. That's not good. Uh, everyone get in here, quick. I'm like, ready to capture this turret as soon as we can. There we go. I'm gonna attack this. We need to capture the gate control so my mech can get in. Oh, they're right over here. Oh. Uh, attack this. Destroy this guy over here. Hello? There's so many mech repair bays that... As soon as that guy's dead. All right, everybody get in here. There's like literally a private mech repair bay for every single mech. Like everyone just capture your own repair bay and go repair yourself. Capture this one. You, like this is that this is insane. Okay, you repair yourself here. 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 We almost literally do have uh, a bay for everyone. Okay, what happened to you? Repair yourself. Over here. Hey, who's attacking me? Who dares? Okay, whatever. We're definitely not in any danger of being damaged or destroyed here, so let's capture all these things. There's even like a random bay we didn't capture. We'll take it anyway. Alright. Yeah, repair, repair. You come over here. Alright. And uh, the bases are getting like so elaborate. What kind of cool salvage have we got? Oh, we, oh, oh my god, we get another Masakari? Clan, long range, my god. Imagine those were all mad cats. That, why isn't that happening? I've salvaged like literally a whole squad, four Masakaris. Can I please have four mad cats? I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the mad cat. I think it's because it's one of the most iconic battle tech mechs of all time. I mean, it, it, it is a uniquely Battletech mech. You're not going to find anything like the Mad Cat in Robotech or anything like that. Um, it is indeed a Battletech, you know, invention. It was created by Battletech. Uh, we've talked about this in the previous videos, but oh, look at all these like light mechs just sitting there powering up. <laughs> it's not like, uh, you know, the Warhammer or something like that. Uh, you know what? If we destroy these mech warrior bays, they're gonna stop powering up their light mechs. Not that these guys are like a threat to me, but it's just kind of annoying to have to fight them. There we go. These are all powered down and we've killed all the pilots. It's actually kind of a cool mechanic. I don't know if I knew that was in the game uh, back when I played this back in the day. I don't know if I knew about that mechanic. Uh, okay, so here's another. Main power base. Target terminated. Target terminated. These are like the power bays that powered uh, the Hoth shields in Empire Strikes Back that the Emperor destroys. With their giant, uh, I guess they had quad mechs. Oh my god, more repair bays. Why are they so worried about my damage in this level? Should I be more concerned? Uh, let's just repair, let's reload ammo on a couple of these guys. Okay, you get out. Hey guys, just, just get out of here. Okay, whatever. I, I'm not that worried about how much ammo we've got, so it's kind of weird that they keep giving us opportunities to repair our mechs. So, whatever. Let's just move on. Our guys have tons of ammo. We check our payload. Oh, look at that sweet mad cat. That is like an iconic technical spec right there. That is in so many Battletech source books. Um, 50, 19 rounds. So we have one LRM. We have 19 rounds. So it looks like we have 57 rounds of the clan LRMs, but we have three of those. So we're gonna fire in multiples of three. So we don't actually have 57 shots. We have 19 more shots. I can't imagine we're gonna need them all. So let's just run down this way. 
and get to the last uh, part of the mission here. Destroy power complex. We really have not needed these jump jets yet, but I like the fact that we have some jump capable mechs. I think it I think it will be advantageous to us. Like if we did encounter a base that was locked down or on a hill, it'd be nice to be able to jump up into it and capture it from the inside. I guess the other way you could play Battletech is never capture the turrets and always destroy them. I mean, the other thing is you can actually target the turret controls. You can shoot them down. So like, I like to capture them because then the turrets go on your side. But alternatively, if you don't have nimble mechs, I guess you can just target the turret control towers, shoot them, and that disables the towers or the turrets. Uh, the only other way to play, I guess, is to just manually destroy the turrets like we're doing right now, which also works. But, like, why wouldn't you capture the turrets if you could? Um, here's a Thor. I'm less excited about Thors these days. I have one. It's fine. Um, I wouldn't mind salvaging another one or two, but, like, we have so many clan mechs that... I I'm, I'm very satisfied. I'm a satisfied commander here. Oh uh, yeah, like we didn't get any Thors there. That's okay. The enemy has to have something to feel good about themselves. They're like, well, we totally lost that battle. We screwed that one up. But at least here, this time we'll, uh, we'll destroy this tower. So that the turrets just disable themselves. Kaboom! So that's the other way I guess you can play this game is not capturing the turrets. I guess it doesn't really make that big of a difference whether you capture the turrets or not. Okay, hold on. Can we get in here? Let us in. Let us into your awesome base. So that we may destroy it from the inside! So some walls you can shoot over and some you can't. This is a medium wall, or a heavy wall. There are definitely walls you can shoot over. I mean, I'm shooting over with LRMs, but... With PPCs, I mean. Boom! We crushed that mission! We are getting really close to the end game, and I feel like we have not had an epic battle. I hope the last level is like the most epic battle we have seen in this game. If it isn't, I'll be a, a little disappointed. I'll be honest. Um. Anyway, we salvaged a ton from that mission. Let's go bask in this. Oh my god. We got a Thor, a Masakari, a Masakari, a Masakari, and a Masakari! I'm gonna need some time to process all this. Oh, clan ER PPCs. We're going to take them off all of our mechs. I mean, we're basically at the stage we're going to start upgrading all of our standard PPCs on all of our other mechs into uh, clan based weaponry, which means we're going to have even that much more of a kick when we go out onto the battlefield. I also somehow have these two jump capable massacres, which seems really stupid. I mean, I guess, actually, it's nice to have the option to have the maneuverability, but honestly, uh, it's an assault class mech. It's very rarely going to be able to use the jump capability. I mean, I suppose if you had a close range brawler, it'd be nice to have that jumping and you could like jump to close the distance. So uh, maybe that's the point of it, actually. Like, as I think about it, maybe it does have a place. Yeah, this guy just totally ejected. Nothing is damaged on his mech. I think we shot him in the head. I think we might have killed him. Alright. Repaired. Okay. Oh my god, 600 tons. So we could do like 4, 4, and 2. Holy crap. Okay, so this is the big one. This is... Oh my god, this is the last mission! This is the last mission! Okay, all the stops have to be pulled out. We need the Mega Force for this one. Capture or neutralize the turrets. Then destroy the mobile orbital guns at all four other locations. All right. This is going to require the biggest force we have ever assembled. And I can't believe it. We're on the last mission. We only ever got one Mad Cat. I am I am a little disappointed. I said I wouldn't be. I'm I'm a little disappointed just in like what gives? Why are they playing so coy with the Mad Cats? We've barely seen them. We've seen more Masakari mechs. Uh, maybe they saved all the Mad Cats for the expansion. I don't know. But a little disappointed, I have to say. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and see how much weight this is. And then we'll kind of go from there. We might equip a couple of... Ma oh, no, we're already at the weight limit. Jeez. Wait, what? Really? 
So like we don't even have enough space to bring in the Masakaris. Uh, wow. Wow, that's it. Sorry, Mantis. You're missing the party. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go in the mech bay and see about putting a bit of, a bit more, uh, what, what, what do we have? Clan ER laser, or clan ER, we have five clan ER PPCs. We definitely gotta upgrade some of our mechs here. All right, we have upgraded our dudes to have multiple clan ER PPCs. Wow, two clan ER PPCs, two clan large pulse lasers, a bunch of missiles, that is insane. Like, I, I am awed by how much firepower these mechs are actually uh, packing. Like, that isn't, look at all the lasers. This one, this one Loki is like more powerful than like all of our whole squad was for the entire first video that we played this game. Like, that is a freaking beast. And we actually even have a guy named the Beast piloting the Mad Cat. He's earned that name. He is a beast. All right, we are maxed out. This is not a level for salvage, so we're just going hardcore and we're just going to crush everyone. We have 35 minutes, but we're going to need half that time. In fact, we're going to need a third. No, we're going to need an eighth of that time. Do the math. 35 divided by eight. What the hell is that? Uh, Four minutes? No, we'll need more time than that. But you get the point. We're just going to obliterate everything that we see. And I am looking forward to the battle. Um, oh my god, that is a giant base. With an insane number of turrets. Okay, good thing we have jump-capable mechs. Let's look for a weak point. Okay, this looks like actually a weak point way over here. So we're going to engage uh, away from the main gate. Yeah, all right. We kind of want to engage way over here. Oh god, stay away from, uh... Stay away from the front of that thing. And what we will do... I guess we'll just, like, shoot a hole through the wall here. Boom. Oh god, we're on a minefield. Oh god. Oh god. Did we just... Okay, I guess we're just doing it. We just ran through the minefield. <laughs> Well, you know what? The lighter mechs, they defused the minefield for the heavier mechs. That's that's what they did. Um, oh man, all of our guys took so much damage. Oh my god, what's happening? Why are those guys running in the base there? Oh my god, okay, hold on. This this battle has gone so bad. Okay, hold on, time out. Incoming <laughs> fire. Mission failed. I'm gonna redo this one just because my guys because the AI the pathfinding kind of screwed my dudes up Okay, once more into the breach. We have everybody Commencing set up Mech warriors prepare for combat. Okay, this time around We're not gonna be so stupid. We're gonna avoid the minefield uh, And we're going to avoid all those turrets Yeah, so basically we 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 shot a big hole in the wall and then i told my guys to go through and the bad pathfinding ai was like oh do you mean you want to like you want me to walk in into that area it was actually very stupid um and i have a better idea for how to deal with the mines it's called just detonate them so that's what we're gonna do here Kaboom! There's your... Okay, there's a nice clear path through the mines now. Alright, a little bit of intel goes a long way. <laughs> that Loki, is he standing on mines? What is happening there? Hey, what are you guys doing? Get out of the minefield. Okay, bad pathfinding AI. Seriously. Stay out of the minefield, everybody. If you guys cannot just randomly walk through mines, I would really appreciate that. Use your minds! Stay away from minds! Using both meanings of the word minds there. No problem, sir. Okay, blasted that hole, good. And that one there too. Okay. Can everyone please now go in here? No, get in. Get in, get in, get in. I'm like really babying these guys to make sure that they don't like randomly walk number. through mines. Okay, everyone's being smart this time yeah, around. Indeed. Good job, guys. No, no, no! What are you doing? What are you doing? You idiots! <laughs> Did you see that? 
Yeah, you found a minefield. Dudes, I was telling you not to go in the minefield. <laughs> it reminds me of that scene from Indiana Jones when uh, Elsa's like, uh, or Indian's like, are you going between the boats? And she's, are you crazy? And she's like, go between the boats, are you crazy? You know, he was like, I was telling you, don't go between the boats. Stay out of the minefield is what I said to you guys. Jeez. Um, <laughs> there's no point in capturing any bunkers this time around because we're on the last mission, so we can't even capture any of these. Look at all those sweet, sweet clan resources, though. Um, all right, what do we actually have to do? Because we have a blinking thing over here. Capture and neutralize the turrets. So what we can do... Why don't we, like, run back this way and capture the turrets? And meanwhile, let's just see what we got to work with here. There's a bunch of mechs. Kind of all over the place. There's some, like, literally right there. Okay, so... Oh, this is, like, totally undefended, so I guess we'll just run up here and capture this. I am under attack. Capture, Mission capture, capture. Alright, easy. Reporting building capture. It, okay, so I guess all those turrets work for us now. Let's also capture the Got gate it, controls sir. while we're here. Interesting. That was, like, surprisingly easy to get around the enemy. But, I mean, I guess they can't, uh, heavily guard their entire, uh, their entire front line. We, we kind of blasted a hole through their mind. I mean, it was a great, a great idea. Put turrets everywhere, mines everywhere. They just didn't have enough turrets. And didn't count on, uh... A doom squad of, uh, of heavily armored mechs just showing up. Meanwhile, we gotta find a way through this, so that turret First still looks like an enemy. Contact. Let's see what we got to work with over contact. here. Okay, there's some turrets. Man, this is actually kind of an annoying mission. I wanted, like, a big final fight where I could, like, have a big showdown, and we're, like, having to, like, infiltrate all these. This should be, like, the second last mission. The mission where you have to, like, infiltrate the base. Okay. Like, we're just straight up gonna go in here. And... Oh, my God. Can we jump over here? Yes, we can. Hoo! We're sort of protected. All right, this is kind of a giant fight. I guess. Jump over here. Guard your way around. Man, so much is happening. Like, by the time I select my units... <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Everybody, everybody reconvene over here. Look, there's a mech repair bay over here. We are going to, uh... Engage the enemy. Oh my god, look at them all. Okay, I, I, did, I did just say I wanted some awesome giant final fight. Okay, can you get out of harm's way? Trying to micromanage the damage units back. Man, oh my god, we're just obliterating them. There's so many- there's a mad cat! It's like the fifth one we've seen all game. Did we salvage him? Oh, we did too! Mad cat J, alright. Wow. Alright, everybody come over here. You, know, you jump over here and capture these turrets if they're on our side. Boom. Wow. Yeah, I was gonna say you can't capture any of these warehouses because, uh, last level again. I keep trying to go capture it, but... Uh, Firestorm, alright. The Firestorm actually did take some damage there. It's funny that it's like we're like, oh man, one of our lightest mechs took a little bit of damage. That's crazy, you know, like, finally. Um, okay, you come over here. I'm just gonna repair guys that are clearly damaged. Um, and maybe I will give a bit more ammo to some of these guys. Don't want to linger here too much. We only have 28 minutes left. Yes, sir. Oh, that guy's stuck, but he can jump out! <laughs> <laughs> Local turret power. Okay. And now uh, you come and get healed. I wonder if this mission was originally not the last mission, and that's why there's component warehouses that you can't capture, and like you were supposed to be able to capture them, or if they if this is was always meant to be the last mission, but they were just like in order to be like a normal looking base, we need to put component warehouses because the component 
because bases have had component warehouses this whole time. So it'd be weird to suddenly see a clan base with no component warehouses, you know? I don't know. All right, heal up. I wish there was like a, a faster way to do this, like you could queue up repairs or something. It's actually a very tedious part of the game. I definitely remember doing this too as a youth. Queuing up all my repairs. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, destroy the mobile power guns. Oh, there's one right over there. That's what it is. All right, everybody come over here. And group two. I'm gonna get you to destroy this, but not everyone wastes their ammo. There we go. Boom. What? Why did all the turrets suddenly fire on that? That's odd. All right, off to the second orbital gun. What dangers await us? Oh, a lot of guys. That was actually an awesome battle. I mean, I wasn't able to enjoy it very much because I was frantically trying to select my dudes. But that was actually an awesome battle with like a lot of mechs and stuff and there was a lot going on. Um, that was cool. And also we came out ahead and didn't lose a single guy. So that is another, <laughs> that always makes me feel better about a battle when I absolutely dominate. I'm like, yeah, this game is fun. I rule at it. It's impossible to lose. All right, come on everyone, you stragglers. Time to engage whatever is going on over here. I wish I had a camera drone. They're very stingy with those in the game. They don't want you revealing parts of the map without actually getting there. I guess it undermines the point of having scout mechs if you're able to just drop camera drones everywhere. Hence why they don't want you doing it. But, uh, what was that? Wait, what just happened? A Loki just ejected. Oh, I think my turrets took him down. Um, okay. So there's another base over here. Oh, and there's another Mad Cat too. Let's uh, let's strike him. Oh, this guy's coming to engage us. We're gonna one shot him. Kaboom! Okay, let's just, I, I was like, we could jump over with our light mechs. But let's just like punch a hole in this and like rush in here and let's Let's all fight together as one big happy family of death mechs. Oh man, did we salvage that guy? Is there anything left to salvage? Nope. He, we obliterated him. We obliterated him. Boom. Kaboom. All right, ooh, we got another repair depot. I don't think we really need it at this point, but it's, it's nice to know it's there. Um, okay, we're getting shot from somewhere. What is happening? Hey, there's a hunchback. Have you ever stared death in the face, hunchback man? Uh, he he saw what was coming. He was like, forget it. I'm out. I see the writing on the wall. I ain't stupid. Um, there must be another turret control uh, tower somewhere. Here it is. Go ahead and capture this. There we go. Alright, the turrets are on our side. Everyone stop firing at them, please, if you would. Man, this would be such an awesome battlefield for, like, a big giant mech battle, but, like, where are all the mechs? Oh, wait, speak of the devil. Here we go. It's battle time. Oh, yeah! A bunch of vultures. Oh, we will take that. Who wants to tango? Who wants to Django? I feel like in this game, I'm like actually desperate for more enemies to fight. Like that's actually quite rare for a real-time strategy game where I'm like, come on, where are all the enemies? I want to kill more guys. Uh, mix up the fire patterns here. Mission objective, Mission objective complete. Uh, we just destroy that turret power. I don't want to have to bother looking for the turret controls for those turrets. Okay, we're doing awesome. Let's check our uh, payload. How much ammo do we have? 60 rounds. Uh, 
seven. So we have 17 more shots. You know what? We're fine. Even if we run out of LRM ammo, it'll be fine. I say forget about repairing. We just go for that final fight. It is time to crush the clans. We're out of scans. So we can't see how many enemies are hiding in the, uh, the shadows up there, but um, I'm sure... I'm sure whatever it is, we can handle it. So I can't remember if you're allowed to keep playing after you win or if this salvage is all for nothing, but the fact that we got a second madcap does make me happy, but it's bittersweet if we can't actually use it. I think after you beat this mission, the game's just over. I think it's like, that's just it. We'll see though, I guess. Our guys have been through so much together. Can we just marvel at how much these people have been through? Like they started off in like commandos and fire starters. And they went from seeing like their first mad cat to now piloting one. They've, you know, really come together as a crew. You know, they met Mystique along the way and they met Falcon and Firestarter and all these great pilots. They're, I'm sure they're just like a little gang of friends. A gang of friends who occasionally powers themselves up into giant mechanical killing machines and slaughters everything they can find with lasers and missiles. But other than that, they could be like your your group of friends. Maybe your group of friends are also, also have hobbies. Like these guys. But yeah, it's like one big happy family of mech dudes. And some ladies, too. Dudes and dudettes. Pilot and mechs. The beginning of an awesome poem. Blam! <laughs> I can't get one-shotted. One-shotted. Oh my god. I don't even care if we salvaged him. We salvaged some memories out of that one. That is awesome. Um, oh, somebody is firing at me. Hey, wait, what's happening here? What is happening here? Oh, we have some jump-capable hunchbacks are coming to surprise us, eh? That guy just straight up ejected immediately. That guy's gone. You know what's funny is we had that one mission where the clans actually fielded atlases against us, and then they just haven't bothered since. They just were like, forget it. If, if a bunch of atlases won't stop this guy, nothing will. Alright, anyone else want to tango? Because I enjoy tango. It is really fun. By tango, I mean fire a barrage of PPCs into your face. So every everybody has at least one PPC. Let's say they have two on average. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have about 22 PPCs, probably more in fact. So 22 PPCs is an alpha strike to one mech. So here, let's see, let's see if we really do one shot these guys. Now I'm just like toying with the enemies. There you go. Kablam! <laughs> yep. <laughs> no assault mech can stand up to that. That is insane. Okay, destroy the primary mobile guns. Where are these things? I'm gonna destroy these. Kablam. Target eliminated. Oh, I think the... I'm stupid. The mobile gun would have been in this, like heavily protected zone over here. All right. Show me your guns and I will kill them. I wish the last mission was like a big base defense. That'd be awesome. Like defend the base for 40 minutes and it just gets harder and harder with like bigger and bigger mechs being sent after you. But I'm pretty sure that's it. I guess we will see. Technically we did salvage some mechs. So if it isn't it, then we got one more, one more mission. But man, did we demolish them. We just obliterate. Let's take a minute to revel in uh, the kill counts here. This guy got no kills. He feels left out. Even even Falcon got a kill. Oh, this guy only got one kill too. Who's hogging all the kills? Lynx. Lynx got the most kills. Okay, we got uh, a Masakari, a Thor, a Vulture, a Madcat, a Loki, a Hunchback, a Masakari. We've got clan ER PPCs coming out the wazoo. I, in fact, I don't even think I can equip them all at this point. Hunchbacks, more, <laughs> more ER PPCs, more Masakaris. Wow. Oh, and that was indeed it. Here is your reward for a battle well fought. Enemy I've got multiple traces. Here they come. We hold this line. 
This is what we came for. Spread out. We need to cover our flank. Just give me my shot. Man, I wish they made you fight all those mechs. I wanted more mechs to fight, damn it! <laughs> my sensors are clear. Oh, that was easy. I think that's the last of them. Bravely fought for Davian. Now let's finish the job. You underestimate yourself. The Jaguars are fleeing. Port Arthur is ours. What? Wait. So the whole point of all the missions was to clear the way for the invasion, invading force. By the time the invading force landed, we had scared the Jaguars so much that they retreated? What kind of ridiculousness is that? That's like such crazy logic. So we won by landing our invasion force. The invasion was already successful because we were so good. The smoke Jaguars were like, well, if they can land an invading force, then we're totally done. Let's just retreat. Anyway, we won. That's it. I feel like the ending there is a little anticlimactic. The last battle honestly doesn't feel like the final battle where you're desperately holding on, just trying to win. It felt like a very casual uh, Sunday drive where it's like I never felt like I was in any danger. I was just crushing all opposition. Um, I like this game. It's a neat game, but I do feel like uh, what is missing are huge tactical battles, and that's what I think I would really want from Mech Commander. I know you can play like solo missions, and you might even be able to make missions with a, a map editor. Um, it's still a cool game, still a neat game, it has really cool things about it. I enjoyed this Let's Play, but um, I do think it's probably not my favorite Battletech game, even though I would have given anything as a kid to see the Crescent Hawks Revenge remade in the Mech Commander style. So like, it, 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 Mech Commander's cool. Mech Commander's cool. Definitely has a few sort of uh, omissions that I wish they could improve on, but the, the sort of mechanics of it are neat and fun. And it is a pretty good real-time strategy mech game, if not on the easy side. So uh, anyway, there you go. What did you guys think of my playthrough here of Mech Commander? Did you enjoy yourselves? Did you... Uh, find it fun? Was it cool to just see these big giant metal behemoths slamming into each other with energy weapons and missiles and what have you? And do you have any memories of Mech Commander that you'd like to share with us? Maybe you played this game back in the day. Let me know uh, down in the comments below. And if you have enjoyed this series, don't forget to like the video and that stuff. Uh, if enough people enjoyed this, you know, I mean, there's the expansion campaign that I could play. Um, or I could play another Battletech game. I mean, I've, I've played so many Battletech games on my channel. Um, but uh, I'm always I'm always willing to play more because I am a huge Battletech fan at the end of the day So maybe there's another uh, Classic Battletech game you'd like me to play. I'm probably not gonna play the new ones Even though I have played the harebrained scheme Battletech uh, Tactical game and I love it. Uh, I've gotten addicted to it and played it like hours and hours and hours But you know my channel here I skew towards the retro stuff So if you want to see a retro Battletech game you have a fun idea, let me know but uh, anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at Mech Commander. I hope it was everything you uh, thought it would be. And uh, until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And remember, no guts, no galaxy. Peace. We got a catapult. That's pretty sweet. Actually, no, it's not. I don't care. <laughs> Ha ha ha!